What's up, lovers? This is Dylan from Olive Oil Lovers, here with another Find Your Crush Olive Oil Review. Today we're going to be tasting the Di Carlo Il Classico from Puglia. Di Carlo has been around for a really long time, producing some of the greatest oils in Italy. They started production in the 1600s. I visited them in 2015. They have a whole wall full of awards, uh, some as old as that. Di Carlo is also quite Il Classico with their milling techniques. Uh, they use the stone wheel, one of the more romantic ways of making olive oil. It's good for them because they produce primarily Coratina. These really intense olives don't produce as intense of an oil when you mill it with the stone wheels. Was that too nerdy? No, nerdy is good. Okay. The Il Classico is made from two-thirds oleorola, a uh, more mild variety, so the Coratina kind of lifts it up a little bit. A few facts about Puglia. Uh, Puglia is known as the heel of Italy. Just like Puglia, I look great in heels. 40% of Italian olive oil comes from Puglia, so it's one of the largest producing regions. Puglia, unfortunately, has been in the news recently for a tragic disease that is affecting their trees. The disease came over on infected plants from Costa Rica. It somehow got into their trees. However, biology works, you know, row down a cloud or a, a fucking pebble. The circle of life. The name of the disease is Xylella fastidiosa, uh, which was cast on the trees by Lord Voldemort somewhere around the Goblet of Fire times. Notes of uh, almond, lots of almond, green almond, green artichoke. There's also a tomato leaf. <clears throat> oh, it's quite bitter. Um, almonds for sure, artichoke again. You taste a bit of that tomato, but it's also quite grassy. It's herbaceous. So I'd use this on um, a variety of salads, bitter greens, garden salads, yum. I would also use this on grilled vegetables, boiled cabbage, baked fish, grilled fish, fried fish, no raw fish. Maybe raw like scallops or oysters. It could work well on, on chicken or um, ribs. 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 Now I'm just dreaming of meats, which is like 95% of the time. Aged and soft cheeses. I wouldn't use it on like brie, but maybe like some softer, like, you know, mozzarella. You could try it on pizza. Why not? I'm going to give this oil a 5.5 five and like almost a 4, like a 3.79. Um, it is fruity and bitter in the medium range. The bitterness actually sneaks up on you a little bit. Uh, pungency, it's a little bit low, but it's almost inching towards a medium, so it's, we might as well call it a medium oil. You know, it's so versatile, it'll work on a lot of different foods. Uh, please go to oliveoillovers.com, uh, you'll be able to shop in a variety of sizes. For this oil, it comes in a 3 liter tin and a 5 liter bag and box, which is my absolute favorite product that we have. Lasts forever, no air gets inside the bag. I uh, highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. If you like our videos and want to check out our other videos, please like, subscribe, follow, etc.